your options. So this is great. If you've got a, uh, if you have a stereo track that has dialogue on just one side of it, this happens quite often if you're recording from a lavalier microphone, which is by definition a mono signal, and you've plugged that into your camera and your camera has recorded that just to the left channel, you hit play, you drop your clip on here, you hit play, and suddenly your audio is only coming out the left channel, you only hear your dialogue there, you want to mix it across both, you go in there and you say fill from left channel or fill from right channel, whichever it might be. It turns that into a mono track. It doesn't have to be that it's silenced on the other side. You could have, um, I don't know, you could have, I don't know, a stereo mix and you just want to, you want to eliminate the right channel. Or more likely, let's say that going back to the dialogue situation, uh, let's say that you are working with um, uh, working with microphones, dual lavalier microphones going into your camera. One uh, one mic is going to the left channel and one's going into the right channel. Well, if they were perfectly balanced in camera, then you probably don't have to worry about it. But let's just say that your uh, person on channel two or your right channel was talking more loudly than you expected them to, or the mic just wasn't adjusted properly. Whatever the reason may be, person on the left Left channel is louder than person on the right channel. And you're going, wait, I need to make the right channel different volume than the left channel. What you would want to do in that case is duplicate your audio tracks. You now have two copies of the same thing. Take one of them mono fill from left, the other one mono fill from right, and now you have two separate mono but in both ear channels or tracks that you can then adjust individually. So if you need to EQ one separately, adjust levels separately and so on, you have that capability. So that's where that kind of fill from left, fill from right is going to come in really handy. Okay, alrighty, let's go on now. Let's set that back to stereo since it's music. The next one is ducking. A ducking is really cool, and it actually, it's, it's kind of funky the way it works here. It's kind of fun, I should say, the way it works in here. So the idea behind ducking is music or sound or anything ducks, getting quieter, like ducks down. It gets quieter behind usually dialogue. It really can be anything. But typical use would be you have a music track playing, someone starts talking, you want the music to duck down while they talk and then come back up again when they stop talking. You can do this completely manually. We'll get into that in a moment. We'll look at keyframing. So you could totally do that manually if you wanted to, or you could let the software do it for you through this process called ducking. Now, there's a few settings that you need to look at first before you start playing with the ducking. That is mainly um, how quiet it's going to get and then how it's going to choose when to actually duck the audio. So to get to that, we go to, we get out of our audio setup here and we open these settings and look at project settings. And we looked at this a little bit when we went through the project settings, which I think was two videos ago, but now we're going to explain this in more detail. So the duck, okay, look at the bottom of this uh, dollar, bottom half of this dollar. You got duck start time, start duration, duck end time, and end duration. This is essentially how long before the sound is going to start ducking and how long it's going to take to duck. So if you want it to go um, to start, let's say you've got, you know, starting at second zero, you've got three seconds of silence on your dialogue track, three seconds of silence, and then at second three, someone starts talking. Do you want the music to start ducking half a second before they start talking, a full second before they start talking? When do you want it to start ducking? And then the duration is how long it takes to duck. So if you say one second before and one second ducking, then one second before it starts to ramp down. And then at that moment when they start talking, because it's taken one second, it's going to be at the level you want it to be. But maybe you want it to be a little bit more overlapped. Right? Maybe you want it to start half a second before, but take a second to ramp down. So when they start talking, the music's still on its way down. All of that can be manipulated here with duck start time and start duration. And then the flip side of that is, of course, the end time and end duration on there. So that's how all of that works. Then underneath that, you have the duck volume. How low do you want that audio to go? Do you want it to go minus 12 dB, all up minus 40, whatever that might be? Or do you want it to go totally silent? Set it to infinite and it's going to go perfectly silent. So you have that choice in there as well. Duck threshold, right now it's set to minus infinity. And what that means is I am essentially allowing the software to... Uh, to base it off of the track itself, the track that has dialogue on it. And this will make more sense in a moment here. But let's say that you've got, uh, let's say you've got a couple of clips side by side of people talking. That entire clip is considered a ducking, a duckable item. Let's call it a duckable item. So if using the example that I just used, where your person is not talking until several seconds in, it's the clip itself that is the duckable item. And so it's going to start lowering the volume before the clip starts or when the clip starts, depending on your, your start time and duration that you've set, even if they're not talking because that clip has the dialogue on it. Conversely to that, you can go in here and you can adjust the threshold. And as soon as I adjust the threshold. You've just watched a five minute sample of a live training video. 
To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash member.